Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disorder that affects about 100,000 Canadians, about 10 million people worldwide. The disease involves reduction in a network of areas in the brain uh, that are involved in making smooth, continuous movements. By stimulating one of the nodes of the network, the entire network acts in a more fluid fashion and allows people to make more fluid, continuous movements. We want to improve on this technique. We want to conduct research. And so what we're hoping to do is understand what signals of the brain can be controlled consciously, what signals of the brain can be picked up but can't be controlled consciously, and hopefully develop a next generation of deep brain stimulation. It's inspiring, really. Many of them choose to take this time to participate in research that they know won't help them, but may help future people. So partway through the surgery, we give the patient virtual reality goggles and take them through a series of experiments that test their ability to control something with the activity of the brain. And specifically, what we ask them to control in one of the experiments is the color of the sphere. They may be prompted to turn a yellow sphere blue or alternatively a blue sphere yellow. And this is actually being controlled by signals that are abnormal in Parkinson's disease in an area that's involved in Parkinson's disease. And they're prompted to imagine themselves moving smoothly and freely versus stiff and Parkinsonian. And those visualizations change the activity in the brain, which then changes the color of the sphere. So the virtual reality immerses them in an environment that's controlled by their brain signal. The University of Ottawa Brain and Mind Research Institute brings together researchers and clinicians to work together trying to find new solutions, understand new elements of the disease, and basically bring better and newer therapies to patients with neurological illnesses.